what's up everyone so ever since i created my youtube and i posted my first youtube video i've been being asked very frequently actually how do you edit the intros to your youtube videos well wait no further i'm gonna let y'all know right now so the way that i edit my intros to the videos is using keynote and that is already installed on most apple devices such as your iphone your ipad your macbook i did go buy a macbook pro just because i'm extra but a lot of people don't have laptops so i'm going to show you to not be discouraged you can use your iphone too here we go First thing we're gonna do is open up Keynote. Once you have Keynote open, press the plus sign icon in that top right corner. I like to use the white background, but you can click the black one if you want. Now we're gonna delete these because we don't need these. Then I'm gonna go to Safari to find the background I wanna use. I like watercolor backgrounds, so I just search for watercolor backgrounds, but make sure it is in a PNG form as well as any of your social media icons. PNG is going to make them translucent. So once you find it, hold down the photo and then press save image. Do that for all your photos that you're going to use. So we're going to go back to Keynote. And once you open up Keynote, press that plus sign icon to add the photo. We're going to add the background first. Now this is a little bit too dark for me. So I'm going to press this paintbrush option and that's going to pull this up. And you can edit the lightness or the darkness. I like it about right here. So go ahead and press that plus sign icon again. We're going to start adding in our social media icons. Size that down to whatever size that you want. Repeat. Facebook. We're going to size that down. Mm, it's kind of touchy. Okay, whatever. There we go. Let's do Instagram next. Press that plus sign icon, photo or video, Instagram. Go ahead and size that down. Okay, well now Snapchat's too small, so I have to make that bigger. Uh, okay, that's cool right there. Let's add a photo just for the sake of it. Okay, mm, look at mommy boy. So next we're going to add text, click that plus sign icon and go ahead and click the little shapes, the square, click text. And then in order for you to add text to the box, you have to double tap it. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in my name for all of my social media platforms. Okay, so now that we have all of our text, we're going to change the fonts because I don't like this. So click the text that you want to change the font. Click that paintbrush at the top. And then right here, go through the options that you want. I like this. this mm, never mind. We're going to go ahead. Mark your felt. I like that. So do the same thing. Click the text. Press that paintbrush. Go through the options, click whichever one you want, and repeat that for all of your text. Okay, so next I'm going to show y'all how to animate your icons, your text, your photos. So we're just going to start at the top of the line. So click the Snapchat, click animate add build in and this is how your icon is going to appear so you have all these options i'm going to just do move in go down to facebook add build in we'll do the same one for facebook as snapchat instagram add build in i like move in okay and then just so on and so forth to do the same for your text add build in we'll do mm, lion for the text 
and you can make them whichever but I like them to be like unison so add build in same for the photo add build in we'll do lens flare for the photo and then we're gonna do build out so just go back down the line start with snapchat I like crumble Facebook build out crumble and then Instagram click that then click build out click crumble or whichever one you want all right keep going down you know the deal too we're gonna do that fly out same for the Facebook and name same for Instagram name all fly out for the photo we'll do shimmer okay so now let me show y'all what it's gonna look like this is a snapchat flying Facebook flying Instagram flying the name flying okay photo mm -hmm. now we'll do build out that's how it's gonna look building out so you see how everything is going one by one by one by one I don't like that I want all of the, the icons and the pictures to appear at once and then all of them to disappear at once go ahead and press that grid icon between the play button and the done button it's gonna pull up this so this is the build order so starting at the snapchat we're gonna go ahead and have snapchat be on tap you see on tap have the first icon always say on tap and then anything below that you want it to be with build one okay that way they will all come into the presentation at once so now you see the snapchat icon build eight that means that we are starting on the build out process so we want the build out to begin after number seven in this case so we're gonna go ahead and make slide eight be after build seven and then slide nine ten 11, 12, all of those are gonna be with build eight, as well as the text. We want all of those to be together. So this is what it will look like. And you can play around with it. Once you have completed your intro to your liking, we're gonna go ahead and press these three little dots in the top right corner. Click export, click movie, and then I don't mess with any of the resolution slide range or anything. I just click export. So go ahead and wait for that to load. Now we're going to click share, press save video. That's going to save it to your camera roll. Go ahead and get out a keynote so you can check to make sure. Click photos. We don't want that. Here we go. Okay, see, and there is your intro. All right, everyone, so that's it. I hope that it was very simple for you guys and very useful for you guys. Um, if you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we post new videos. That is all that I have for now, but until next time.